Okay, so the first thing I want to do to make the cupcake is just pop a little buttercream or ganache on top of the cupcake. So, funnily enough, I'm going to be using the ganache because that's all I like to use. So, we just want to spread some on top. So, you can see I've, I've picked a relatively flat cupcake. Uh, you could pick one with more of a dome, I suppose that would give the, the teddy bear a slightly larger head. Okay, so just spreading it on nice and smooth. There we are. Okay, uh, and I want to get some grey sugar paste, uh, and I want to just roll that out and cut out a circle. So this is just white sugar paste with a little bit of black uh, sugar paste to get the colour. Now I'm going to roll this relatively thin, because this is really just a, 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 a covering for the cupcake. Um, it's not, you're not going to see it at all. So, in a sense, uh, you don't want to be eating too much sugar paste. So, just roll it out really thin. There we go, until it starts to break there. And then I just want to get the round cutter. There we go. And then just cut out a circle. Place that on top. There we go. Good, so that's the cupcake sealed. Uh, which means when we go to pipe the buttercream on, it's got something to stick on to. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to put the features on. Uh, so I just get a little bit of water. Oops. Okay, so some water just at the bottom half there. That's for the muzzle. And then some water at the top for the ears. There we are. Okay, so for the muzzle, we just want to get quite a large piece of sugar paste. A large grape. So size. Or a sort of cherry, roll a ball, and then we want to then roll it into a sausage, like so. Then flatten down, and then just place that on top. There we go. And then we also want to put a little line using the back end of the knife down there. And then you can give it a sort of happy smile if you want. So just use the knife and just cut a little smile out. Now, if we try and just stretch that open a little bit, there we go, with the knife. And then if you just get a small paintbrush, dip it in some water and pop that in. And you can see that just helps you stretch open the mouth. There we go. That's nice. Okay, and then for the ears, uh, all I want to do is get a, s a smaller piece again, so more sort of Malteser size. Um, and I just press it down so it's like a flattened Smarty. And then cut that in half. Once it's cut in half, uh, just give it a little press on the side just to sort of bend it around to give it a bit of a curve. Okay, like that. And then we just want to place that on top of the cupcake. Okay. So on there, uh, like that. Okay, so that's good. Uh, and then all we want to do now is get the buttercream and start to pipe uh, the detail onto the cupcake. So the buttercream is just your standard buttercream. There's a recipe on the free section of the website. Uh, and all I've done has got some licorice uh, paste colour or gel colour and mix that through the, the buttercream to get the, the, the nice tone. Now you don't want to make it too dark because uh, you, you do tend to find that the buttercream does darken. So uh, just keep it relatively light. But of course it's your own choice. You might want to do a different colour, maybe a brown teddy bear, uh, etc. Now I've got a rather large piping bag to make a very small cupcake. It's just um, I'm going to be making more cakes later on. So, um, so what I want to do, you know the large one here, uh, I just want to do this with the bag and it makes a smaller piping bag so it's much easier to hold. So when I'm piping, I've got full control like that. Okay, so you can see the buttercream's got a nice stiff peak uh, and that's exactly what we're looking for for the, the cupcake here. Okay, so all I want to do is just really start piping around the muzzle first of all. So I'm just doing little star peaks all the way around. Okay, and then once we've done that, we then just want to sort of fill the whole surface of the cupcake 
with the buttercream spikes. So you try not to be too neat uh, when you're doing this, so it looks really sort of like a scruffy teddy bear sort of look. Okay, so you can see there that's just got the the sort of face area done. So now I want to do the, the ears. So I'm just taking some of those long peaks away. Okay, and then for the ears, just be careful. What does that normally do is I pipe up a little bit there like that just to get the shape of the ear. And then I finish off piping round. Now the ears are kind of blending into the colour of the head, so what we can do is we can just put a little bit of uh, blue or pink just at the back, just to highlight the ear when we put the nose on. There we go. Okay, so there we go, so that's just got the, 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 the cupcake pipe, so you can see it's very fast. Um, and now what we want to do is uh, get some blue, just give my hands a little wash. Okay, so we want some blue for the ears, I think, just to sort of highlight the ears. So all I'm going to do is get a small piece of the, the blue tip, it's pale blue, drop it down, and then just press down to make it into a sort of ball, again, flat and smarty sort of shape, and then just cut that in half so we've got a semicircle, like so. And all we're going to do is just press that into the, into the ear. There we go. There we go, and you can see there it's definitely highlighted the, the sort of ear area of the cupcake. Okay, uh, then what I want to do is do the, the eyes. So for the eyes, just get a ball tool or a bone tool. Um, something's good just to let the, the buttercream crust before you do this, but uh, it should be okay. Yeah, that's all right. So all I want to do is just press down here just to make a little bit of space for the, the eyes. And then we just want to get some white sugar paste. So roll it into a sausage and then cut it in half and make two sort of oval shapes. Make sure they're the same size, that one's about on the big side. That's better. And all I want to do is just place them right in the top of the nose there. And then very lightly just press them in. So they sort of go into the buttercream. There we are. That's good. Okay, um, and then I want to get a little bit of grey. And for this I just want to put some eyelash eyelids on. So a very small piece of sugar paste. Drop that down. Again, press it. Same technique again. And then cut that in half. Go. and then we just want to place them over the eyes. There we go. And then to finish off the eyes, if you just get a food pen, and we just want to put little black dots on just to finish the eyes off there. Okay, so there we go, so that's the eyes on. And then we have the, the nose to put on. So a little bit of water on here and then some blue. Now just see what you think. Sometimes a big nose is quite cute. Let's see. Yeah, that looks quite nice. So I've got a ball there and what I want to do is pinch it and flatten the top so it kind of goes at a triangle shape. Like that. And then what I want to do is just cut off the back, just so it sits nicely on the, the cupcake. There we go. And then to finish the nose off, the smallest amount of white, 
just at the side there, just to give it as if it's got a little bit of light reflecting off his nose. And there we go, one teddy bear cupcake.